Hey everybody! I know I just did a video yesterday for uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but here I am again today, this time with the Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. Now, I'm sure that you saw from one of our very lovely posts that Piggyback Interactive was doing um, three guides. They were doing a regular paperback for Breath of the Wild, they were doing this um, Collector's Edition, I say, do they call it, I don't know, do they call it like a special edition or something? Let's see. I don't, I don't even, all right, well, I'm going to call it the collector's edition, so I'll leave it at that. So they got this nice hardback collector's edition, and they are releasing a, um, like, super mega incredible collector's edition, which is not going to be released, I think, for about another month, maybe, or at the end of this month, regardless. This is what I have for now, so now I can, now I'm going to start playing that game. So let's go ahead and see what's inside, aside from this gorgeous cover, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. This cover is beautiful. Um, I, that's the artwork, just yeah, you know, which I think is very similar to how the the painting artwork is in the game. And look at that; it's just beautiful. So we had this little thing on the back. So now as we take a whoop, here we go. First thing just fell right on out. Don't fall on the floor, you book. Oh, it's a huge map. Remember yesterday I had that cloth map? Cloth-ish map. This is supposed to be a decoration, but this is an actual... Whoa. This is an actual navigational map of Hyrule. And it looks like they have... What is this? Oh, look at this. On the back, they have what they, what they call a completionist map. And this map has all the Korok seeds. So they have like screenshots here and they have um, and with according with those screenshots they're numbered and you can find them all here on the map. So that's, that's amazing. I don't know how much of a completionist I will be because I'm sorry I'm, I'm really weird about being a completionist because um, I like trophies and you know Nintendo doesn't have anything like that. So it makes it hard for me to be motivated of all the stupid things to do extra stuff. Alright, so. Like, I don't think I even go and get all of the um, heart containers. Mainly because they're usually attached to some stupid mini games that I refuse to do. Alright, so as we officially open it now, we have this beautiful inside cover. And in the table of contents, so there's a primer, which may be pretty good because this is going to be a completely different Zelda game than, than other games. Like there's cooking, there's scavenging, there's crafting. It's, it's, it's crazy how much different it is. And so then there's the walkthrough, which doesn't look like it's that big, but... And they also, then they also have a separate section for all the shrines. And a separate section for all of the side quests. So it's crazy. So got, you know, then we got the inventory, the bestiary, and the ex extras. And the extras include the completion rate, great fairy fountains, sub bosses, all the Korok seeds, mini games, Kilton, don't know what that is, the Hyrule Compendium, and secrets and Easter eggs. So, I mean, right there, it just sounds like anything you could possibly want to look for in this game is going to be right here. I mean, just for the secrets and Easter eggs, I almost kind of want to take a peek at what some of these will be. Wait, what page was that? 348. Oh, but there's a surprise in the back. It wasn't even in the guide. So, um, there's this list of Easter eggs. Concept art. Look at that. It's about, let's see how many pages of, I mean, it's a lot of concept art. Well over 20 pages, it looks like of concept art. Oh, and an index. So if you want to look for any specific thing, they got you covered. That That's awesome. All right, so some of the Easter eggs. That's secret, so Easter eggs. All right, so all the Easter eggs are like references to other past Zelda games. So that's really, really cool. Um, you know, just like if you ran into something and maybe you don't get it, it explains it all right here. So that's that's awesome. Um, 
So, I mean, I haven't read any of the strategies yet. I don't know if we have in the back who wrote this. Who wrote it? Oh, James Price um, and Tony Gao. I think I've reviewed some of their stuff before. They, their names sound familiar. But uh, Piggyback typically does re really good guides, so I have I have a lot of faith. Um, I didn't like them at first because we did have, you know, the bad... Uh, we had a couple of not great guides with um, Final Fantasy XIII and Assassin's Creed II, but they have like really upped their game since then. And look, they're coming out with such beautiful, beautiful artwork. This is, this is going to be, you know, perfect with you know, uh, the rest of my uh, Zelda Collector's Edition guides. So I'm very excited about this. Now I really can't wait to play my uh, Zelda machine because that is officially what this what I'm calling my switch since I don't have anything else to play on it And there's nothing else I want to play. Uh, it's a problem um, But anyway, so there we go. This this looks like it's gonna be amazing uh, I can't wait to get started and I can't wait to get the other guide. Oh my gosh It's gonna be so beautiful. So stay tuned till next time when I hopefully get that guide by the end of the month Thanks so much for watching everybody. Let's talk to you soon. Bye